I do not condone any hate sent to the individual discussed. This video is meant for commentary purposes and is not intended to spread hate. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Herdy McSmarty and welcome back to the channel, the only place where you can listen to some garbage mic quality and my very unbiased opinions. I hope you're all having a great day, and today we will be discussing the TikToker known as Unpleasant Bird, or the real Pleasant. I guess. I don't know. This came up on my For You page on TikTok, and apparently this chick named Pleasant, or Annie, I believe, is the baby mama to her cousin. Her TikToks are her dealing with hate in a toxic way because people think this is a huge joke. Like, makes sense, honestly. She claims that she is married to her second cousin and is having his baby. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know where she's from, but incest is not really accepted in most places. Like, hello? <laughs> Kinda weird. <laughs> anyway, Pleasant believes she's famous and her TikTok pretty much consists of duetting to comments replies about her situations. But apparently she's with her cousin, like, ring on finger married. I don't know, it's a clusterfuck of a situation and it isn't covered, so ladies and gents, I bring you the ultimate case of brain cell loss. Buckle up. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps my channel a lot. Inset. Let's start with the fact that Pleasant claims her cousin is her husband and baby daddy. Gross. And this is mainly the reason Pleasant has haters. If you want to call them that, the people in her comments are saying her situation is gross, which it is. And she rebuttals by saying that nobody will break them up and that she won't leave TikTok and that people are just hating on her. Like, no. Inset is a crime in lots of places. <laughs> your child, if they're even in your womb, may have genetic mutations. Like, why would you want that? Your child could die at a younger age as well. I don't get, like, why would you, why, why would you be into someone who is related to you? Like, damn, my cousin bought a snag. Like, no, no, it's, it's gross. That's someone who came from your grandmother. Like, y'all have linked genetics. And I know Pleasant is probably like, oh, well, I love him. It's my choice to love who I want. Yeah, but that's your relative. Like, why would... That would make you the sister-in-law of your mom and dad. Or actually, we're not going to get into that because it everything gets messy. But still, this is gross. Incriminating in some ways. And harmful to your babies you so desperately care about having. Like, she tries to say second cousin like it matters anything. They still refer to your parents by a family-related prefix. Like, here's a chart. If you is pleasant, she is still related to Chris, her boyfriend or husband, through her great-grandparents. She can say it doesn't matter, but it does. You have DNA from your great-grandparents. So does he. So technically, your DNA could still cause complica complications and mutations. I can't speak. Yes, people, I passed grade 12 biology. Let's go. Anyway, she says she'll be fine because her parents were first cousins. I don't think that's how it works, but we're gonna move on for now. Using slurs. Well, this one sort of speaks for itself, stupidly. I decided to look at Pleasant's Twitter, where she advertises her only fan and uh, actually shows her body off. But this video specifically has her saying the N word multiple times. That should be self explanatory, not right at all. She's been called out as racist and claims she's Mexican in Blackfoot Confederacy. Um, she referred to herself as Blackfoot in- I, like, I can't say that word as a slur now. Then posted a TikTok of her singing a song and captioned it, If I wasn't Mexican, how can I lip sync a Mexican song? Pleasant. Honey. Baby, listen. It's Spanish. Mexican is not a language. Anyway, saying you're not racist because you have relations or a percentage of that ethnicity doesn't make you not racist. Like, you're not racist, but you still said the n-word? And still use the term India? Especially when indigenous is a more accepted term? Like, I'm sorry, the two don't add up. And I mean, you said on Twitter you would say it again if people wanted. Like, these people aren't hating on you for no reason. <laughs> you use an offensive term like it meant nothing. Like, um, what did you expect? <laughs> she also replied to a video about her and captioned it, blink twice if you need help, but thanks for the shout out. I liked your hat. And the person in the video wasn't wearing a hat. It was a piece of religious clothing. I don't want to assume, of course, but I believe it was a type of Islamic veil. If anyone in the audience can confirm this, please do and I'll pin it in the comments. But either way, she seemed to be really ignorant when it comes to religion, culture, and ethnicity. Now that I'm thinking about it, I hope she sees this video. Honestly, I hope she's a troll. 
Like, my brain cannot handle that this person is 20 years old. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description to the video of her saying the end slur. Please, God, do not scroll around her Twitter. I have seen things, you guys, very, very eyeball bleaching things. So please don't go lurking around. Thank you. Threats. So there's two instances of threats Pleasant has said in videos, one being only once that I saw, and the other is a reoccurring threat made in TikToks replying to comments. When she gets mad in a TikTok, she threatens the commentator with her boyfriend, Chris, who she says will find them and bring bad consequences because he's a cop or FBI agent. I don't know, he's claimed both, so, so don't mess with her. I don't know how believable this is, honestly. She also said she has biker gangs and knows people. Like, please give me a break. Everybody knows you're clowning. Just say it was a joke and we can all move on. I mean, that's what this kind of drama is. She's getting clout for saying slurs, committing incest, and overall being a troll. So like, free publicity, I guess. And with that, I get to spend hours looking into content that I consider disgusting just to tell it to all you fine people. Anyway, I wonder if she saw this if she would come for me. Well, if she posts it would bring up the attention of my channel. So I guess we can sure hope so. <laughs> anyway, the second thread she's said that has to do with not aliving. She posted this on TikTok of her crying and saying, but well, excuse me, <laughs> she can't live without a thousand followers. Um, um, I'm sorry. You're going to try to pity your audience into following you because you're saying you'll not alive? I literally, God, I'm, fuck, I can't stop. Hold on. <laughs> mm, okay, we've had a drink of water. I think I should be okay for now. I literally don't know how to respond to her trying to pity her audience like that. Um, gross? I mean, I've discussed Sui baiting on my channel before about a certain artist, if you know, you know. But for that reason as well, this isn't in any way tolerable. Not to me anyway. Like, why would you put pressure on people who genuinely support you? Not sure how many supporters there are besides trolls, but damn, that's pretty manipulative. Addressing hate. The internet is a place full of people who enjoy expressing their opinions and, in some cases, concerns on whatever platform they please. Especially when there are no direct repercussions for expressing yourself. Best place for freedom of speech, honestly. When people don't like you, say, you're a supporter of incest, you threaten people, you've used the ensler and indsler, and enjoy threatening people and your state of living. Yeah, sure people will address what they think about you. Maybe comedic or hateful. But are you not kind of asking for it? The things you are standing for are not deemed as acceptable. Example, slur use and incest. Like that's still gross. Hasn't changed since I last mentioned it. It's not in season. It's not cool. Inset is not the blue black, okay? There's nothing trendy about it. Pleasant, you want to be left alone and don't want people digging into your relationship and trying to break you up, blah, blah, blah. Then why? Why is every post about or responding to your relationship? Like, why are you still addressing it? Like, my God, if you don't want it acknowledged, why are you bringing attention to it? Please use your brain. Might find it nice if you actually use it. It has benefits, believe it or not. Adult content. God, and there's a lot of meme-worthy content on Pleasant's Twitter. Everyone in the comments wishes they minded their own business because of the things Annie posts, which is mainly advertising her only fans. <laughs> which I'm sure you guys can put two and two together and understand that she posts not safe for, not safe for whoever, okay? Whoever is the word we use. So none of that today. I won't be sure. I didn't want to inflict bleach on your guys' eyeballs, so you're lucky. Anyway, Twitter is a place where people post not safe for whoever lots. Like, it's not really a big issue. However, I mean, I, I don't know who pays for her OnlyFans. I know why I'd opt out, but along with that, um, there is her post on Twitter where she recorded herself saying the n-word multiple times, so... Yeah... That's all I have time for today, folks. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video as much as you can. Like, this content is kinda messed. Pleasant isn't cool, but I'm glad you guys sat through to listen to me talk, of course. I always love to hear what you guys think about the topic in the comments, so please let your opinions run wild. I'd love to hear them on this one. Also, please don't go on her Twitter. I actually mean it. It's it's not. Just don't do it, okay? Promise me that. Both the Twitter videos mentioned are linked, okay? Just don't stray from the threads. <laughs> And I'm considering bringing back shoutouts. Tell me what you guys want to see next. And whoever comments the topic I pick, 
will be shouted out. Always want more ways to communicate with you all and I want our community to grow. Plus it's pretty fun. And I'll of course read them out in all my cringe voice glory. But anyways guys, thank you all so much again for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.